here and I am going to teach you how to do the first assignment in Tableau. Um, Tableau assignment number one, uh, the World Bank CO2 data for Tableau. So the first thing you'll need to do is go and open your Tableau public. Uh, don't use Tableau desktop or Tableau builder if you downloaded one of the others. We're using Tableau public on your desktop and it does take a second to load. This is Tableau public desktop edition. And so when you open it, yours won't look like mine at the moment. And matter of fact, let me X out of those and delete those. So this is what yours would look like right now. And so the first thing that you would do is you would connect to a file. So we're going to connect to a Microsoft Excel file. So before doing this, you'll have needed to download from this assignment page uh, the Excel file, the World Bank CO2 data. Um, and have that downloaded to your desktop or your downloads. So the first thing we're going to do is connect to a file. And on this, we're going to connect to Microsoft Excel. So I'm going to click Microsoft Excel and it brings up my desktop and I'm going to choose World Bank CO2 data and click open. And now it'll take a second. You'll see here it's executing a query and here's our data. Now, one of the things that you can look at in here, is the different sheets that were made in the Excel file. So if we went back and opened and looked at the Excel file, we would see that these are all the different sheets in the Excel file. But we only want to deal with one of them at the moment. So CO2 data cleaned, we're going to drag it right here where it says drag tables here. We're going to drag it there. And it comes up. And what we'll see is these were all the headers down here at the bottom. These were all the headers in that file. But one of the great things about Tableau is Tableau looks at uh, the type of data. So it recognizes that like region and country name and country code are actual uh, what are called uh, spatial data, which means it's a latitude and a longitude. And we can see that with the globe here. Region is... Uh, a name, so it recognizes that as an ABC, and we see that year, they recognize that as a number. So that's one of the great things about Tableau. So all I did there was drag CO2 data cleaned over into drag tables here. Now we're not going to link tables for this assignment. This will be fairly easy. And now here at the bottom, it says go to worksheet. So we see that we have sheets here, and then the button to the right here at the bottom left, you can see my mouse over there is add new sheet. So there's new worksheet. Then the next one is actually dashboard. And then the next one is new story. And so throughout this course, we're going to be dealing with a lot of sheets and dashboards. And for your final, you may be working on a story. So we're going to go here. It says go to worksheet. We're going to do sheet one. And You'll learn a little bit, little bit more about this, but on the left side right here, it shows us our data where it is, the tables that we have. And this is measured names, meaning this is a measured name. So this is name or geographic data, and then values is down below. So we always have measured names and then measured values. And just like we saw in some of the other assignments that we did, this is also put in alphabetical order. So we need to look at that, that this is alphabetical order because later on we will do some things on assignments where we will add data here in measured values and names. And as soon as we do that, it will sort it into alphabetical order. In the middle here is we have pages, filters, and marks. We're going to do quite a bit with marks and then we have our columns and rows and then our sheet here where we're building this. And so you build a lot of things in columns and rows. You know, it says dr drag dimensions or measures here or double click. The same thing with rows here, double click. So when you do double click on Tableau, Tableau guesses what you want to do. And a lot of times it's good and it's correct. So one of the great things is it makes it easier for us. So let's look at right now, um, we can look at country name right here. So there's two ways that we can do this. Um, we can take country name 
and drag it into drop fields here. And it'll take a second. And notice it gave the latitude and longitude in columns and rows and recognizes the country. And then each country is represented by a blue dot. So each blue dot is a different country. So really cool. It made the map for us. Now, if we make a mistake, we can grab it and pull it off just like you did in pivot tables, or you can do command Z. Another way to do this, so we did country name there. We can take country name and drag it into marks and do the same. Don't drag it into one of these color size labels or tooltip, but we just dragged it into marks. Okay. And then another way we could do that is let me back up all the way there is we could take country name and double click and it built that for us. So really nice. We have that in here. So now that we have the starting of it, um, we want to be able to do what, what are we going to measure? And in this case, we're measuring carbon monoxide data uh, and output. So we're going to take our CO2 per capita right here per capita, not the CO2 above or data clean per capita. And we're going to drag it onto the map. Um, so we're going to just drag it onto the map right there. Okay. And so this shows CO2 per capita there. The other things we could do is also take CO2 per capita and drag it into size, but it already did that for us when we dragged it onto the map. We could have done it either way. So I'll do Command Z and go back. We can take CO2 per capita and drag it into size. And it did the same thing for us. So there's multiple ways to do things in Tableau that make it easier. And now we can see that um, the bigger the dot, uh, the more CO2 per capita. And we can see that in the Middle East and some places in Europe and other places around the world have some um, heavy CO2 per capita going on. Now we want to clean this up and make it a little bit better. Uh, so what we want to do is take CO2 per capita under our measured values here on the left side. And we want to drag that into colors. So when I get the plus button, we dragged it into colors. And now we can see that it's set up that the dark blue is heavy CO2 and the lighter blue is less but we want to make this a little bit more dramatic. So go ahead and click on color again, and then click edit colors. Now, when that comes up under our palette, we have automatic. So Tableau chose for us, we want different. So I'm going to choose red to black diverging. Okay. So red to black. Now, when I ch chose that, it put red at the low end and black at the high end. I actually want to change that. I want red to show um, the most dramatic use and black the less. So I can click reversed here and click either apply or OK. And now you can see that the higher uh, CO2 emissions are in red and the less um, go down to the black. So this is a really nice you know, representation visually of what's going on. And for this assignment, we're not going to go further into showing this because just like we did in Excel, we're going to take baby steps and move forward. The other thing we're going to come down here is just like in Excel. So a lot of the things that you learned in Excel are also available here in Tableau. So right click on the, your sheet one and we're going to rename the sheet and we're going to rename it CO2 per capita. And when we click return, notice right here above the map, it says sheet one. And now that I've named my sheet one, it also renamed the title. And we're going to change some of that later on, but not in this assignment. So in this assignment, that's what we want. And we just created our first sheet. Now, if we want to create a second sheet down here at the bottom, we click on new worksheet, which is to the right of our per capita. It's new worksheet. We click on that. Okay. And we've just added our new worksheet. We're now going to build a chart. And one of the things that happens again in Tableau is when we double click things, Tableau guesses what we want to do. 
So there's two ways we can do this. We can take CO2 per capita and drag it into rows, and we see that it's just building a chart for us, and it's assuming a, a bar chart uh, there. Now let me back up, and let me take CO2 per capita and double click, and you see that it put it into rows again, and it's building a chart. Well, we want to do CO2 per capita over time, so there's another way we can do this. We can take year, and we can drag it into our sheet, we can take year and put it into columns, and we can also take year and double click it. So however you start using Tableau is how you'll get used to it. So we can take year and drag it over here. And I just made a mistake. Okay, let's take year and drag it into columns. Or we can double click year. So let me get rid of that and just double click year. And we can see that there it is. This is CO2 per capita by year for the entire world. Now, if you notice on mine is, is going in five year increments. Some of you might be doing it and some of yours might be doing it in one year increments. It doesn't matter. Uh, for the sake of this exercise, because we're dealing with a 60, you know, a 50 year over a 50 year period of time in this. So uh, Tableau put mine in five years and you can zoom in and out of this to change and it'll change the years. Okay. So we wanted to do that. Now this is for um, the CO2 for the entire world. Uh, we want to be able to do it by country. So take we can take country name and drag it into the middle of our sheet there. And now it divided this into country. And it looks a little messy. Okay, Just like some of the assignments that we did in, in Excel, where you had graphs and you had a lot of information on the graph, it put it all together, and this looks a little messy. Right now, we're going to keep it this way. The reason why is, <clears throat> on some of your previous assignments, you saw while the graph might be messy <coughs> excuse me, in the dashboard, it looked really good when we used a filter. So we're going to be able to filter this out by country and see what each country is doing besides the world. So we're going to leave it this way with country name. But what we want to be able to do is edit the colors like we did before. So take CO2 per capita and drop it into color. Like there. Then click on color again. Edit colors. We want the same color scheme. Click down. We're going to choose red, black, diverging. We're going to reverse it. Click OK, and there we go. And we can also hover over a line. We can see that this is Qatar, and we can look at the year, and Qatar there, and this is United Arab Emirates, and that's Luxembourg, and that's Bahrain, that's the United States. There's Canada, and we can see what's going on. And now we want to rename this sheet. So go down at the bottom, click on Rename It, and we want to rename this CO2 Emissions mission changes over time. Okay. And return. And now it changed our title up here, CO2 emission changes over time. Now we're going to actually create this into a dashboard. So go down here at the bottom under new worksheet, slide to the right and click new dashboard. And this is where we're going to start building the dashboard. And again, we're going to show you more and more as we go along. But right now, we want to keep this simple. And you can see here to the left, it has dashboard. It has a phone layout, um, device preview, size, sheets, and objects on how to build. But what we want to do is in here in our sheets, we want to be able to make sure when we name our sheets too. And we can also name the title different than our sheet, by the way, but we'll do that later. When we name our sheets, we want to be able to name them in such a way so when we go to deal, build the dashboard, we know what's going on. So we're going to do CO2 per capita, and you see that it gives us a preview. And we're just going to take it and drag it where it says drop sheets here, and we're just going to drag it in there. Okay. And now you can see it's a little skinny, and I got my map there. The next thing we're going to do is take CO2 emissions, and we're also going to drag it. Now, look what happens. If I take it and I drag it, 
it's saying, okay, is going to be on the left side. So notice that that highlighted or shaded. Now, if I go up, it shaded on the top. And if I go to the right, it shaded on the right. And if I go down here towards the bottom, it shades the bottom. And I want to put this at the bottom. So there we go. We have the beginnings of our dashboard. The next thing we want to do on this dashboard is get rid of the legends over here to the right. The CO2 per capita. Just click on that and X, remove from dashboard. Click again, remove from dashboard. And this just resized it a little bit. But we want a little bit bigger dashboard. So on the left, under size, we're going to go and make our width. We'll do 1020 by 560. So this makes it a little bit more readable. And then the last thing we're going to do on here is we're going to create and make the map a filter. So go ahead and click on the map anywhere. And up here, we can remove it from the dashboard. We can go to the sheet and actually correct things if we need to. Uh, or we can click use as a filter and click use as a filter. Now, if we've done this, we can click on like Canada as an example. And you see that it filters and it shows you the CO2 emissions for Canada over time. We can click on the United States and we can see that, you know, since 1970, it's actually 73 till now, 2011, we continue that emissions in the United States have been decreasing over time. And it, we're actually now below the 1960 levels uh, in CO2 emissions. So we've been doing a really good job uh, on per capita CO2 emissions, even though the number of people in the United States has increased, our per capita uh, CO2 emissions has decreased. And one of the things you can do is click on this again and it clears the filter. So again, we can click on for like Russia as an example and it shows CO2 emissions. I click on it again and it clears the filter and you've just created your first dashboard. Now, what we're gonna do is save the dashboard. At the very top, go to File and Save to Tableau Public As. Now, if you don't have Save to Tableau Public or Save to Tableau Public As, it means that you're not using the Tableau Desktop app. So make sure that you've downloaded the Tableau Desktop app, the free one, and you can now save all of your assignments to Tableau Public. So click ta Save to Tableau Public As. And when you click on that, it asks you to rename your workbook title. So name these. This is uh, Tableau Assignment Number One. And you can also add World CO2 Data. Okay. And click Save. And it will ask you to log in to if you're not already set up. It'll ask you to log into your account. So that's what mine is doing right here. And there's my Tableau Public. I've already logged in, so it's creating that. And now here is the assignment. Your deliverable for the assignment will be to um, copy the URL and paste it into the assignment. So to copy the URL, just go up to the top. Now on Google, it's a little bit different than Safari. But either way, you have your URL at the top. You would click on that. And now it shows the complete URL there. So copy that. And then you'll paste that into the assignment. You'll go into the assignment. Hit Start Assignment. And your deliverable is to paste the URL in the assignment. So when your professor, myself, or your professor go in to grade it um, on there, they can click on it. And it takes them right to the URL. And we can see that uh, what happens is all these visits are made. So you can see that I've done this in a minute. This will pop up. But here are the different assignments. So obviously you can see I've done this assignment a few times. Uh, but this is up here for you to view. All right. You have now just completed your very first Tableau assignment. Great job.